Good morning. Good morning. Is this Charisma Carpenter? Yes. Is this Valder Beebe? It is. Thank you for joining us here in Dallas, Texas on the Valder Beebe Show. I'm so ah. excited to talk with you. Thank you. Love well, Dallas. You're on, you're on one of my favorite channels, the Discovery Network. You're doing this surviving evil from what I'm understanding, and you're returning. I, did, I must have missed you that whole first or previous season. Yes, this is our returning season, season two. And we're on Investigation Discovery, not to be confused with the other Discovery Channel. That's correct. And there's <clears> so <throat> many of them. You are correct. <laughs> okay, so on Investigation Discovery, tell me about uh, surviving evil, because I know you have a personal tie-in probably for wanting to do this, but you'll explain that to us. Sure. Um, surviving evil is a first-person narration uh, television show that highlights... Um, survivors and the insurmountable circumstances they were put in and how they survive against the odds and live to tell their stories. And also at the, at the end, there's a wrap up of where they are today and what they're doing with their, themselves. Where do these stories come from? Do they come direct from police files or what? Uh, that's a good question. I think we have a uh, research team that works uh, behind the scenes to, you know, pour over you know, all kinds of media or newspaper articles or whatever to kind of find the stories. And then the people are contacted to see if they'd be willing to go on camera and tell their stories, um, which there wouldn't be a, a show uh, if those people weren't brave enough to come forward and, and do that. And they're not, you know, paid to tell their stories. They're just willing to tell their stories because they're ready and they're willing and um, want people to know that, that um they're okay and that you can survive and live a, a healthy life after something horrible and traumatic happens. How does your story tie into this from your youth? Well, just that I'm a survivor and that I had been attacked and, you know, at gunpoint by a serial rapist and was rescued by my two friends. Um, and uh, I lived to tell about it and, and sent the man to um, prison. So... And from what I read, your two friends were also shot and hurt in that one uh, was survival attempt? Mm -hmm. One was critically injured and the other one was shot as well. And you remained physically unharmed? Due to their bravery and courage, I was unharmed. Does that give you a different place on this planet when something horrific like that happens to you rather than the rest of us or most of us being voyeurs of watching it on TV? Um, I'm not sure what you mean by give us a different place on this planet. Well, I, does it give you a different place? Like someone who's had cancer, they have a very different attitude about life, about cancer, about survival, about family. They have a very perspective. different place. Exactly. Right. So I was wondering, when you've actually lived it, most people do uh, probably what you went through, they do it through a Game Boy or watching a show on TV. They haven't really had that experience. And I'm a big believer, unless you've walked in my shoes, you mm -hmm. don't really know. Mm -hmm. So I was wondering, does it make your <clears throat> life different? Well, I only have my own life um, to answer that with, and, and it's the only life I know, and it happened to me, so I don't know what it would be like otherwise. Um, I do know that it's a lot more common than more people would imagine. You know, there are a lot of people walking around with some heavy stuff um, that we don't even know about, and I think... Um, I think that it's important to feel that you're not alone and that you can survive it and that you come forward if you haven't um, to prevent it from happening to someone else and, you know, get counseling and live a happy, joyous life um, free of that, the bondages of that experience. Are you, is the show, that seems to be what the show echoes in a sense. It wants us to know you can survive this. Mm -hmm. You have to be brave. You have to be strong and all of those different things. Is well, that I don't think it's like meant to make you feel like you have to be brave or strong. But these are some accounts of people that were brave and strong and dug deep and found inspiration to survive and live. And whether it was for someone's children, you know, uh, they, they, would be falling unconscious and, and, and stay awake just because they knew that they had children at home and they had to survive for those kids. 
Um, there have been all kinds of maybe the sense of justice, like I have to keep, I have to stay alive so this person can get caught so it never happens to anyone else again. And then the cause kind of just becomes bigger than themselves. You know, the the experience is just, uh, it's not, it, it's already, they're not even a victim. They're already in survival mode. It, and, and there's a difference, you know. Exactly. When do you want us to watch you on a best investigation, Discovery, Surviving Evil? Surviving Evil is on Wednesday night starting tonight at 9, 8 central on and Investigation we, Discovery. Forget, and we didn't talk about your previous life as part of Buffy the Vampire Slay, <laughs> Slayer little group over there. Yeah, Scooby Gang. <laughs> do you still talk to those people? Some of them, yeah. <laughs> well, that should have been interesting. I want to thank you so much, Charisma Carpenter, for talking about it. And we'll mm -hmm. be watching you. Thank you very much for sharing. Thank you.